All right, YouTube, final video of the night. And yeah, so something really cool I want to feature in this video. This car is not it, but I am going to crack this one open. Oh, this is the uh, Nissan 240Z regular treasure hunt, not to be confused for the Super, which I also have. Uh, it always seems like this car has tampo issues. It does get three, one, two, three, four. It gets four passes on the uh, tampo press or whatever it's called because you have your rear tail light detail you have side graphics on both sides there's your June Amai that's pretty cool this casting was designed by June and then you have a pass on the top there so it's a really cool car um, the super is basically the same with spectra flame paint didn't want to get the super out because um, this video is a green light video. So uh, I've already got it cracked open, but I wanted to I wanted to review this. I don't think anybody. Well, it might be out there on YouTube now. I'm not sure, but this was a delayed release. Um, from green light because of licensing issues Wow, it's gonna be a tricky one to get out So we will start with the We'll start with the truck. This is a Ford F-150 Totally sick Totally sick look at that 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 just looks killer let's see if I can get some better lighting here now look at that that looks really good I'm I'm kind of glad the whole Firestone thing didn't work out because this color combination with that that's a satin gray it's not gloss it's not flat. It's a gloss blue with a satin gray. And then you have the yellow trim with the Goodyear Racing graphics. You have the smoke tint windows. The uh, black wheels all looks fantastic. The front end looks great. My big complaint is the taillights. That stupid red paint. Lamar just did a video. I also featured uh, the new Hot Pursuit Santa Monica Silverado where they used the metallic red paint for the brake lights and it gives it a reflective quality. It gives it a much more realistic look. Um, that's my only complaint with this truck <clears throat> is the tail lights, which, you know, at least they're still detailed. And they should be for what these go for. I think these this particular hitch and toe is about twenty five dollars shipped if you can find it. It's these were real limited. They're M and J exclusives, so they're not available everywhere. Um, if you want to see the other three, there was a Camaro, there was a Dodge Charger, and a Golf Ford Bronco. I did a video probably a couple months back. Uh, this one was delayed, so I didn't have this one at that time. But this, it's a hitch and toe racing set of four. Each piece is limited to 2,500, so they are pretty limited. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, if you're a collector like I am and you're into this kind of thing, if you're a collector of hitch and toes, you've got to get this set because this is going to be... A very popular set down the road I think not just because it's as limited as it is but also because it's just an awesome set I mean it oh wow that is so sick oh this is gonna be cool I haven't seen that from green light before 
All right, let me uh, let me get everything situated here while you look at that truck. That truck is killer. You know, and I gotta say the uh, even in the package, um, this color combination is it really looks better in person than it does on the camera. I don't think the camera is bringing out the blue because it's almost like a purplish blue color. There is the trailer, just a, a cargo trailer. This is a a casting we've seen many times from Greenlight. <clears throat> but never with the Goodyear Racing Nissan GTR livery. Look at that. That is so cool. And this GTR is it is sick. I can't like that is so cool, man. I'm really digging it. I hate how they come out of the package all oily and like this one has fingerprints on it and it came out of the package that way. But wow, this thing looks great. So um, just a quick review on this trailer as it spins. You can see the detail. Um, you've got your air conditioning unit on the top. You've got your marker lights there on the front with the Goodyear Racing. You've got all your graphics there on the side. But if you look at the back, your hinges and latches and brake lights are all painted. All of the rivets are painted. I'm not sure if this is painted or if that's a wrap, like a tampo wrap or something like that. I'm not sure how they do it. I doubt it's a tampo wrap because of how clear the graphics are. It's If it is, it's, I don't know. I really don't know how they do it, but it looks really good. The wheels look really good. They match the truck. Uh, wow. It just looks awesome. But this thing, this car, now, before I put this car on the turntable and looking at it in my hand, my big complaint is the brake lights. As a, same thing with the truck. I wish they would have used the metallic red. Also, and this is uh, true with all green light GTRs, I do kind of wish, after having collected uh, Tomica Limited Vintage and... Kyosho GTRs. I wish that they would have put side view mirrors on it. I can see a few flaws with this, but you got to see this thing. Um, all right. Just wait until it spins around and you take a gander at the front end. Look at these headlights. That is killer. That is sick. Um, the windows on the side are kind of sloppy. You can kind of see where it's glued in. And you got to be careful with these. I have a couple green lights where those windows are like popping off. They're, you know, M2 brags on their packaging about oh this is made with 36 pieces and uh, you know that's cool because it adds to the detail but you know green lights are made with probably not as many pieces but it's probably a lot more than what people think um, each piece of glass is a different piece on this particular casting the side glass is a separate piece from the front and the rear glass. Those two headlights lenses are individual pieces. The spoiler is an individual piece. The rims and tires are. Um, the body and the base, the interior. So there are a lot of different pieces that go into this. One thing that is kind of surprising that I only know this because I have the raw, the first cut of this. The tailpipes, as it spins around to the back, those are not separate pieces. Those are just part of the casting, and they paint it to give it that effect, which is awesome because it gives it really good durability along with a really good authentic look. So 
my opinion very cool I'm gonna stop this from spinning because I want to focus a little bit on uh, on the front end and the back end stop spinning we'll start the back end here I need that. Wow, is that the best focus I can get? Did I have it too light, too lit? Lighting too saturated? I don't know. I'm not a uh, not a camera guy. But for whatever reason, I can't get a very good focus. not focusing very good at all but I really wanted to take a look at that front end there I may have to do that with the still shots because any of you that uh, aspire to do YouTube videos for diecast invest in a camera don't do it from your iPad because this is the result that you get sloppy videos I'm lucky I have any followers why is that not focusing I don't get it uh, I'll have to get that with the still shots because that uh, it looks really good this is uh, I don't know if I'd say this is the nicest um, GTR that Greenlight has put out. I'm not the biggest fan of this casting from Greenlight. Uh, I much prefer the Tomica Limited Vintage or the Kyosho. Um, but they have put out some nice ones with the Golf uh, GTR. My personal favorite is the Japan Police. Um, I think that one is the closest uh, to authentic that they put out from a proportion standpoint and all that stuff. Um, some of these GTRs that they've put out have wheelbase issues. This one does not appear to, to have that issue, so that's good. And this is probably... I don't, it's probably my second favorite. I think I like this one nicer than the, uh, or better than the Gulf. I think it, uh, it came out better than the Gulf. I mean, it really looks good. Not on the same level as Kyosho or Tomica Limited Vintage, but, you know, I guess, you know, typically I would say, well, it shouldn't be for the price, you know. But uh, in this case, it should be for the price because these, this hitch and toe is an expensive hitch and toe to get. And I don't know if the price is going to drop or not. It'll be interesting to see <clears throat> if that happens. But uh, a very, very cool piece. Let's uh, take a look at the uh, set in its entirety. I am not going to put the car in the trailer. Because the car needs to be <clears throat> on display. Let's see if we can get any kind of view here with this. Anyways, uh, as I said in the pre the uh, the other racing hitch and toe video that I did, I strongly encourage you guys to pick up this set. These are four of the best hitch and toes that Greenlight has put out to date. They are all of them are awesome. 
all four of them. Even even the cars, you know, the, even like the, the Dodge Charger just looks awesome with those wheels and tires they put on it. The street view is not a good one because of the lighting. But man, the content is pure eye candy. I know this video is going to get some dislikes. I, you know, I, I'm sorry. I know like the content's good, but the production quality is horrible. Yeah, I, I should take some money and invest in a camera, but I'm just one of those people when I get the extra money laying around, instead of buying a nice camera, I go buy nice diecasts and I film it on my iPad and I that's a mistake. So maybe uh I don't know. I always say I need to prioritize a camera and I do. But if I have a hundred and fifty bucks or a couple hundred bucks laying around, I'd rather hit up the toy pimp and say, Hey, put a nice pile of die cast together for me. Maybe for Christmas, maybe that's what I'll ask for. Or maybe for my birthday. That is an awesome, awesome set. So, uh, that's my day at Diecast. Um, so, the road trip, we went to Denver from Phoenix for a wedding. Um, last night, we left Denver yesterday morning. Last night, we stopped in Albuquerque, got a hotel. Uh, my wife and I are huge fans of the show Breaking Bad and even bigger fans of the better show that's uh, turning out to be better, I think, than Breaking Bad is Better Call Saul, which is all filmed on location in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, living in Denver as long as I did, there's a restaurant up there that I love. Their breakfast burritos are amazing because, first of all, a breakfast burrito is only as good as the green chili that's inside of it. So I'll start and end with that. But uh, this restaurant is known for its green chili. It is amazing green chili. And it's called Twisters. And they, they only play, I think they only have locations in Colorado and New Mexico. But I've eaten there for a long time in Colorado. Well, I've known that the Los Poyos Hermanos in the show Breaking Bad is actually a Twister's restaurant. They lease it out or something, and then they convert it over to a, a Los Poyos, and they film there. And uh, so my wife was like, hey, let's go by Walter's house on our way out of town tomorrow, and let's go eat at the Twister's that they film at. And I thought it was a great idea, so we did. Uh, there was a lady sitting in the garage of Walter White's house, and there's like, spotlights everywhere and signs private property and all this stuff and she looked mean like i was gonna ask her if we could just take a picture but she looked i was like scared so uh, we didn't do anything there but we went to uh the twisters and uh they had all kinds of like they had some signed memorabilia they said yes breaking bad is filmed at twisters they have a big screen tv in there with the show on a loop so it's constantly playing Breaking Bad. Uh, we ate at Walter White's booth, uh, in his booth today. So really, that was really cool. Uh, I have a green light HD trucks. It was also a, I think it was an M&J exclusive, but it's a Los Poyos Hermanos box truck. And it's one of my favorite green light castings that I have. Uh, but it was a really, really fun day. Uh, other than the nine hours that it took to get from Albuquerque to Phoenix, which should normally only take six hours, but that's a, a different story. Um, anyways, I got a couple videos for tomorrow. Collecting for Ben, Chris, I'm going to crack open all that cool stuff that you sent my way. I also have a couple of other highly detailed import castings that I want to take a look at. Uh, so I'll do that. I'm going to get some better pictures of this hitch and toe post it up on IG. I thank everybody again for checking out my videos. I always appreciate the support. Uh, comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to uh, DM me on Instagram. A lot of you guys do that and uh, it's no big deal. I'll respond if I can. 
Um, I am not going to give any cars away. I see people saying, hey, can I have this car? Can I have that car? No, no more. I sent, I don't know who it was. I don't remember. But uh, around the time I did my 1,000 subscriber giveaway, I gave away a White Lightning Pontiac GTO to a guy who just, I don't know, he asked, said he couldn't find it or whatever, and I was feeling nice, and I sent it to him. Never heard from him, never got a thank you, none of that. And, um, there, you know, I appreciate all the support, but I just can't send everybody cars, you know. Um, if you have, if you see something that you like in my videos and you're interested in it, you can feel free to, you know, ask me, you know, is it available for sale or for trade? I'll tell you right now, I don't sell. I would consider trading depending on what it's for. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. I don't do a lot of selling, um, but if you have a car or a casting that I'm interested in, that I have a hard time finding, I would consider trades. But uh, definitely feel free to message me. A lot of you guys do that, and I think it's cool to kind of... Um, I don't know, just to be interactive with the channel. And, uh, you know, it's a fun hobby, and I think we should all try to support each other as much as we can. And uh, feedback is always appreciated as well. So I would, I know a lot of you guys have started channels, and I do check out your guys' videos. I encourage more people, you know, if you have a smartphone, you can have a diecast YouTube channel. And... I wish, I kind of wish everybody would, would do it just to share their collections. Just That's how much I enjoy diecast. I just, that's what got me started on, you know, that's what got me to start my channel is watching other people's channels and just seeing how cool some of the diecast is that's out there. So I always enjoy watching and I'm glad that you guys enjoy watching so keep supporting the channel and i'll try to keep bringing you guys content and uh i'm gonna stop rambling now and wrap it up but i'll be back tomorrow night with another couple cool videos so until then you all have a good night